Yo, Whistler Gibbon 8 out, and Game Informer have just released an interview with David Von der Haar, the design director at Treyarch. So he's basically in control of all of the multiplayer and blackout mode. And in this interview, they asked a lot of really good questions, and David Von der Haar gave us a lot of information about what to expect in blackout for the full game. So I'm going to go through these now and just go through like the main points that he said so you can find out a bit more about blackout and get even more hyped. So in the interview, I will leave a link to it in the description but this is for people that don't want to listen to like a 40 minute podcast I'm going to break this down into short little bits and just mention like the main things that he said so he um, disclosed the fact that the max level in blackout is going to be level 80 and there's no prestige option in blackout now this is interesting to me because in the beta I ranked up very fast once I started to get those wins like consecutively when we got my squad together and we just kept getting wins and wins I was ranking up so fast so honestly getting to level 80 I can see that literally taking like a day's game time maybe two days that isn't long enough for me get into the max level then and then what happens i feel like they may go down a similar kind of route to how fortnite have done it whereby they have the seasons and every season you get reset i don't know how they would implement that into the game but i guess they can do a like a storyline behind blackout and then just like as it progresses and as it goes into new bits of that storyline you get reset i don't know whether you would get some kind of reward for getting to level 80 but i guess this is what we've just got to wait for and see um let me know how you think they're going to deal with this down below in the comments i'll be very interested in hearing what you've got to say the next thing that they spoke about was um how they're going to be putting well they're trying to like he hopes to implement custom games for blackout which i think would be sick but they're not confirming it yet because obviously i mean they're they're pretty short for time they probably want to focus more on the issues with blackout now rather than adding like a custom games but i can definitely see them doing that it can't be too hard for them to do but yo that would definitely be sick a bit like um Fortnite's playground mode yeah that definitely needs to be a thing um, the next thing is that he said that he won't be taking level 3 armor out of the game but they're still looking at it and adjusting it I think that's um, he, he said it's the wrong call to make by taking it out of the game but I'm not too sure about that I think it's kind of OP but then again it can be easily countered you just have to be very cautious but I mean if you're playing against someone that's got a good shot and they have level 3 armor and you don't you are kind of screwed but honestly I'm sure they'll figure out the uh, like they'll fine tune it and make it great for when the game comes out and even so it's just great how they're actually really listening to the community this year and they're actually like acting upon what we want as a community so if you hate um, something in the game just tweet at them and if it gets those retweets a chance they'll see it and they could change it um, the next thing they talked about was um, like he said that he cannot announce the plans for the future of the map but he can tell you there are plans for the future of the map he went through them in detail two days ago and he said they're sick and he can't wait and honestly that makes me happy if he's he can't wait for his own game that's got to be sick and like i can just see them doing some crazy stuff like think about the like in-game events they can do and changes to the map they can make for example like the hydro dam they could make that burst and then like the map would get flooded or they can make a nuke hit nuke town they could do all of this crazy stuff that would be so sick and just add a new like just make the game fresh like how fortnite has it they would do it for this game and i think that'd be amazing it would really get the community just loving the game the only issue is is that playstation will be getting those updates seven days earlier than the xbox people which is a bit of a problem because obviously there's a massive community on xbox and why would you find anything like that exciting when you've already seen it all on youtube a week before so yeah we'll have to see how that enrolls but i'm not sure man um, so the next thing that they spoke about was how um, Van der Haar would love to put it up to 115 players for during like some special events, which I think would be sick. And obviously 115, do you think that's a hint at zombies? They could do like a crazy special event where there's literally just millions of zombies all over the map or something with 115 players as well. It'd be absolute carnage. I feel like having 115 players in the game is a bit overkill. When I played it with 100 players at the end of the beta, it was kind of crazy so another 15 more players 
that would be just hectic as hell i feel like it would kind of ruin the flow but definitely do it as a special event that would be really sick to see i forgot to mention one last important thing that van said and mentioned to the game informer person so basically the game informer interviewer actually said that there's a lot of open ocean out there and then van van der Haar actually shushed him in the interview so that's hinting that maybe like one of the first special events and stuff we're going to see is going to be water themed i'm i'm not too sure maybe they could add like a carrier from bo2 it just like sails in close to the map or maybe like sails around the map and you can hop onto it and you can get into fighter jets like imagine how sick that would be and like land fighter jets helicopters all that good stuff on there i feel like that would be an absolutely amazing update but obviously we've just got to wait and see could be something even crazier like a massive like the kraken or something like a massive water zombie or something but honestly we've just got to wait and see at this point but yeah it's fun to speculate so let me know down your speculations down below in the comments and yeah that's basically the main things that you covered if you did find this video um, enjoyable to watch then leave a like on it if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for the best Call of Duty Black Ops 4 content I can't wait for the game to come out I've got so many videos planned and like pre-recorded and stuff just waiting for the game to come out so yeah be sure to be on the lookout for them turn on post notifications it's been the Gibbonator and I'll see you in the next video lads peace